again everybody and welcome back to Booze Twos. Today we're going to be unboxing the Puns U2's figure. So without further ado, let's open this thing up and let's check it out. Alrighty, let's get this thing out of the box here. And here it is. Alrighty, let's take this thing out of the plastic protector. And here it is. So on the front of the box here, of course, we have puns up there. We have the concept right there. U2's collectibles right there. And for the background, it looks like we have a dark blue or a black background with some white bubbles on it, it looks like. I'm guessing it's the nighttime sky. It looks like the theme colors for this box is going to be black and purple. So on the side of the box here, it looks like we got a stone column right there. Um, I think, is this... Yes, okay, we're in the end. So it looks like we have the landscape of the end on the sleeve here, and this looks pretty cool. So we have like the spongy end blocks on the bottom here. I don't know what they're called. And then we have the uh, the Ender Dragon Towers where like the the power things are on the top. I, end crystals, that's what they're called. <laughs> Sorry, I'm completely blanking in all my Minecraft terminology right now. But I really like how they have the purple dripping from the top of the towers there. That looks really, really cool. Alrighty, let me give you guys a 360 of the sleeve here. So it looks like they went all out with the design and it looks really, really good. Now without further ado, it's time to take the sleeve off and let's check out the box. So it looks like we have purple as a main color here. Of course we have YouTube's collectibles on the top there. It looks like he's number 274 of the collection. We have puns down there, the concept right there. And if we flip it to the side here, looks like we have the concept right there. And is that the Ender Dragon in the background? That's cool. So it looks like we have the Ender Dragon's face right here with a big eye right there and a U2's eye reflection in it, it looks like. That's a really cool design choice. On the back of the box here, it looks like we have another really cool depiction of the Ender Dragon. So it looks like it's kind of like a black silhouette and then we have some beaming purple eyes right there. It looks like Puns might be running towards him or might be running away, I'm not very sure. But it doesn't look like he has a sword or a bow in his hand, so it looks like he's screwed. I'm sure this is a scene from one of his streams that I'm just missing. But now let's check out the description of the figure here. And it says, oh hey you choose purchaser, didn't see you there. Did you know that Twitch Prime lets you sub to Punge on Twitch for absolutely free? Haha, <laughs> I did know that, I do it every month, you should too. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Then it looks like we have another tower right there and we have an end crystal right next to puns. Then on the right side of the box here we have another little message and it says that was a tactical restart. Alrighty let's open this thing up and let's check out the message on the inside of the box. And it says sorry dream you should have paid me more. Alrighty let's get this thing out of the box and let's check out the box design on the inside. And it looks like the design on the inside of the box is just a bunch of bees flying around. Alrighty, let's take out the figure. And here it is. This guy looks big. I feel like this figure seems bigger than most YouTube's figures. Maybe it just has a big head, but it seems pretty tall. Oh yeah, I guess he is about the same, huh? So on the front of the figure here, we have his blonde hair that's peeking out from the white hoodie. And of course the hoodie goes all the way around on the back. Then it looks like he's wearing a gold chain. And we got the gold chain on the back there as well with a little uh, medallion right there. I'm sure that's a reference. Then we have a little bee that's perched on his shoulder here and it has the U2's eyes on it. Very cute. And there's good detail on that all the way around. And in his left hand, he is holding an ender eye, which is really, really cool. It actually came out very, very good. I mean, there's not too much detail on them anyway, but um, it does look very cool. I wonder if they're gonna do an Ender Eye plushie for one of his plushies. I'm sure that idea has been tossed around. So underneath his hoodie, he's wearing some ripped black jeans and those look pretty good. And the shoes look very familiar. I, they, they kind of look like the shoes from Back to the Future. I don't know if they are or not, but they definitely, definitely look like them. Then on the bottom of the shoes, we have YouTube's collectibles right there and YouTube's.com right there. So this figure definitely looks very, very cool. I'm definitely glad I picked it up. Alrighty, let's do a little height comparison with a couple other figures. So the first figure is going to be Warrior Critical, and it looks like they're actually about the same size. Um, looks like Warrior Critical is a little shorter, but his sword is about the same size as Pun's. Then we have the Gaelic Gladiator, and it looks like Pun's is definitely taller. So I think I was right when I said that Pun's 
seems to be taller than most figures, which I like because as I always say, the bigger the figures, the better. Alrighty, so now let's check out this guy's price on resale. So since Puns is in the Dream SMP, I assumed that his reselling value was going to be pretty low because a lot of people buy those to resell just because there's a huge demand for it because there's a really big fan base. But it looks like he's going for about $90, which is pretty good for a Dream SMP member. So if you guys didn't pick him up and you still want to, it looks like you're going to have to shell out a little bit of money. Alrighty, I'll give you guys one more 360 of this figure. Like I said before, it looks pretty cool. There's not too much detail on it, but with a figure like this, it looks good without too much detail. And that's all I have for you guys for this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe for more YouTube unboxings. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.